as the last and best class of escort carriers, the commencement bay was laid down compared to the previous ships with true conversions. Just like the Sangamons, their design was based on the type T3 tanker. The hangar was longer and some shortcomings of the Sangamon class were fixed in this type of ship. They entered late in World War II and saw little to no operational service. Out of 35 ordered, 19 were commissioned, the rest were cancelled. Each would weigh 11,100 tons at standard and 24,500 tons at full displacement. Overall length was 169.8 meters, BMA just over 32 meters and draft at 9.35 meters. Two shaft geared turbines created 16,000 shaft horsepower. They had one rudder. Speed was at 19 knots. Armament consisted of two 5-inch 38 caliber dual purpose guns, 36 40 mm buffers and 20 20 mm orlicans. One hangar was placed on the hull and two elevators were added. Each could carry around 34 aircraft, a mix of fighters and torpedo bombers. All of the Commencement Bay class ships were laid down by the Seattle Tacoma Shipbuilding Corporation in the Commencement Bay Tacoma Washington Yard. In addition, some were planned but never laid down by the Kaiser Shipbuilding Company. Commencement Bay spent the rest of the war training pilots. Block Island joined the Pacific Fleet in 1945 and took part in the invasion of Okinawa and later the liberation of Borneo. Gilbert Islands took part in Okinawa and then the liberation of Borneo. Cape Gloucester covered the invasion of Okinawa and then spent the rest of the war taking part in air raids along the Chinese coast. Salerno Bay trained pilots on the west coast. Vela Gulf joined the Pacific in early May 1945 and took part in the raid of bypassed islands in the Marianas until July. Others arrived too late and after the war. Some were used as helicopter carriers and auxiliary carriers in the Korean War. All of them were out of service or reclassified by 1960 and were later scrapped. And now the two Saipans. As the United States Navy expected losses in the Independence class light carriers, a pair of ships of the Saipan class were designed from the keel up as the light carriers with many improvements compared to the Independences. The hull and machinery of these ships was based on the Baltimore class heavy cruiser compared to the smaller Cleveland class light cruiser that the Independences were built on. With this change, protection was enhanced, a stronger flight deck for heavier aircraft and the larger air group made them more useful. Their speed was also higher than the Independences. Names were Saipan and Wright. They were built by the New York Shipbuilding Corporation. Saipan was laid down on July 10, 1944 launched on July 8, 1945 and commissioned on July 14, 1946. Wright was laid down on August 21, 1944, launched on September 1, 1945 and commissioned on February 9, 1947. Each would weigh 14,500 tons at standard displacement and 19,000 at full load. Overall length was 208.33 meters, beam at 35 meters and draft at 8.5 meters. Geared steam turbines produced 120,000 horsepower, turning four propellers. Speed was at 33 knots. Armament consisted of 42 Bofors 40mm guns and 16 dual 20mm Orlicans. One hangar and two elevators were placed on the hull. A small island was placed on the starboard side. Planned air group consisted of 18 F6F Hellcats, 12 SV2C Helldivers and 12 TBM Avengers. Saipan served from 1946 to 1957 and Wright from 1947 to 1956. As the jet era started, their flight decks were too small for jet-powered aircraft of the 1950s. Their hangars would become more useful in other ways and both were converted for non-carrier duties in the late 50s when Saipan was converted into the communications relay ship USS Arlington and Wright was a command ship. They served until being decommissioned in 1970 and scrapped in 1980.